Can I help you, sir? Well, if it isn't the man of the hour. I'm sorry, what was your name? I wouldn't tell you even if I did have a name. But I know who you are, and I know what you are. Rich men like you pull all the strings, and men like me are left to hold the sack. And probably other types of men, too. I'm not a rich guy. I'm just running for school superintendent. That doesn't impress me. I feel like you were all the same. Hi, Carol Lewis, head of the PTA. I just wanted to talk to you about hand sanitizers in the school classroom. Let me guess. You got bored in that gold-plated prison of your own making. Then you decided to get into politics. And why not? By all appearances, you look like a respectable, successful family man. But I'm guessing your kid hates your guts and your trophy wife is finger-banging the pool boy. Am I getting warmer? See, the difference between you and me is that I care about the weak ones. The wimp. The sad sack. The knocked up runaway. The dumpster junkie. The gnarled gypsy queen. The fuck ups. The shit eaters. These are my people. Hell, I made my life's mission to... Hold that thought. Then again, I'm sure you are a very nice man, and you have a lovely home. Best of luck in the election. Oh my god, you found it? How did you track it down? Come in. Don't make it a big thing, Jane. All I did was risk my life pull out the greatest piece of detective work in human history. <laughs> There's a bar if you'd like a drink. I underestimated you, and I owe you an apology. You're amazing, detective. No, Jane. The truth is, I'm just an ordinary guy who happens to be brave and brilliant. Tell me it hurts. What is it? I think some bastard might uh, make me a slippy. Thanks for bringing me the statue, detective. This whole thing was a ruse for the statue? But wasn't it already your husband's to begin with? Ah, yes. Well, for all his good points, my husband was a sentimental man-child. As soon as he realized the value of the statue, he insisted on donating it to a museum. So I had my brothers pay him a visit. I didn't want to kill him. But he wouldn't listen to reason. And then Kirby lost the statue. I left it in the bathroom at Arby's. I think I figured out the rest. You hired me to find the statue. And then when I gave it to you, you were going to sell it. And then the four of us were going to split the cash evenly. Then you and me were going to get married and live like hogs. But what makes you think I would go with a plan like that? That's not the plan. Kirby, call the police and tell them we've captured my husband's murderer. Wait. You're forgetting one thing, Mrs. Archer. And what's that? How the hell should I know? I'm not a mind reader. Call the cops. And just like that, it was over. Let's get out of here. As I made my way home, I found myself wondering if it was too late for a career change. But at this point, what else could I possibly do? I'm too young for retirement and too old to finish elementary school. I'm too dumb to be an astronaut and too shy to be a fluffer. What happened to that confident young man who grabbed opportunity by the buns and squeezed until blood came out? When I was a kid, I wanted to be the king of the moon. Now. I just settle for anything that puts a hot sandwich on the table.